today a South Seas feast, a trip to Polynesia, and I almost forgot you're invited. Look how I've set the scene. Inexpensive lining fabric over a pipe, droop down towards the table, and then back up over another pipe. I don't have any pipe, Nick. No problem. Put up hooks in the four corners of your dining room, run a pole from hook to hook, and then do the same thing with fabric. You can continue it behind you. It's inexpensive. Continue it behind you and create almost like a tent-like atmosphere, so inviting for dinner. Down down, way down to our table. The guests will sit on the floor this evening in true Polynesian style. I moved a piece of the sizeline, that grass cloth from the living room over to the dining area, and in the center is the table, a 66 inch round. And it's on milk crates. I thought I'd prop it up. Don't want to use the legs, so use milk crates or bricks, even old pieces of wood. Next thing is the table cover. The table cover is two different colors of blue, aquamarine and this blue. And I wanted to just show you an accident that almost happened. This is a silk organza. I thought it would look great, but look at how when laid on the colors, they don't read well. You don't see that same vibrant color. I've scrapped the idea and I'll use this for another event. The guests will sit on the floor as mentioned and on these funky colored pillows, this aquamarine, also this striped blue and even this deep royal blue. Really easy to make. I sewed these myself using old leftover fabric. You can use old sheets and even make a, like a little bag sewing it and then tying it together. Old sofa cushions work really well. But now on to the exciting task of setting the table. Where did the idea come from? I, I really can't remember exactly how it started. But in my mind, I think I saw a table which was going to represent the oceans down in the South Pacific. And on the table, there would be mats. I'm using bamboo placemats. I've curled the edges. And in my mind, these are rafts that are going to sail towards the center of the table, where I'll place either an arrangement or a spectacular dish. How about the dinner plates? I'm staying in this coloration of blue, and I'm using these cobalt plates. These are, of course, a great color, and they're available from a local rental company. Did you know that you can rent stuff like plates, glass, china, silver, even unusual things like chafing dishes, silver samovars? Don't forget tables, chairs, everything. Rental companies are also a great resource if you're looking for an idea. Sometimes just a trip to your local rental company will inspire you to plan a whole party. Time for a cutlery close-up. Check this out. A Lucite handled cutlery set. And it's got an ocean blue. I really like the color. And the other reason I selected this is because it matches our glassware, hand-blown, also in this attractive blue color. I'll place them above the knife at each place setting. These glasses would be perfect for an iced blue curacao margarita or a coconut surprise, something very cold, very refreshing, and ultra exotic. Here's a couple of additional accessories that I thought we'd incorporate. These are really attractive shells that I picked up. They're going to make sides. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I forgot. This is one of the invitations that I sent out. Join us for a South Seas feast. Wasn't that neat? I hand delivered them, and I think everyone, actually, including yourself, now that you've accepted, will be here tonight. But the plain shells I'm going to place around the table, and they're going to be side plates. And you could also use them to present appetizers. You could do a sautéed shrimp dish, maybe a ceviche of scallops, or even just a little salad first course. They're perfect, and tonight give an attractive appearance to the table. I found these fish at a local artist studio. They're brightly colored, and I'll position them so they almost swim into the center of the table. These candles are also a lovely touch, creating a perfect atmosphere.